upgrade your smartphone with Appalachian Wireless, get $300 off selected models. Capture memories, stream, and stay connected with the latest technology. Visit one of our stores or AppalachianWireless.com right now. Following a press conference held by the family of Amber Spradlin, who was murdered June 18th, the mayor of Prestonsburg held a press conference to dispel rumors and allegations against the 911 dispatch center. Now, during the press release last Thursday, it was, uh, well, the statement was blatantly made that our people are not well trained enough and should be trained better. I want to tell you right now, unequivocally, without a doubt, our people are trained as well as anybody in the state. Our people are as professional as anybody in the state, and they do their job with dedication and caring. So any statement like that has been made 100% wrong. Stapleton went on to say there has been no delay in dispatch, but due to limited personnel, response times may be delayed for law enforcement and other agencies. There is stuff in the works to try to increase our personnel and increase the resources so that we can answer. And I'm not talking about answering 911. We're going to take the dispatch call, but get them dispatched out to law enforcement and everyone else. There has been... Uh, discussions. There will be discussions and I think you'll see a major improvement within months. As the investigation into Amber Spradling's death is ongoing, 911 records regarding the case are not being released at this time. However, it was stated that Spradlin did not make any 911 calls the day she was killed. Stapleton also invited anyone with questions about the center to come and visit. If they will call down here and set up an appointment, we will let them go up and look at our system understand that our system has confidential information and we can't just take them there and set them down in a seat. But we will set up an opportunity for them to come and look at it. Don't want 100 people piling in here because they've got a job to do. And if they're not busy, we will take the time out to show them our system, show them our capabilities, because we do have a third console that is not being used at this time. Should calls start arising, should we get more calls, we will have somebody move over to that console and we'll have somebody in that seat. At this time, we've been able to do it with two dispatchers. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.